assemblé, jeté, cavriole, and pas de chat. You may look at me and wonder, what am I even talking about? Well, these terms are actually in French, and they're some ballet terms. And when you really think about it, everyone should be taking a ballet class. According to Workout HQ, ballet can improve your flexibility, agility, key muscle strength, balance, realignment in your center of gravity, and coordination. But even if those points are not enough for you already, don't worry, we'll be going over more points today. Today we'll be going over the history of ballet, the five ballet feet and arm positions along with the preparatory position, and why ballet is beneficial for society. Let's dance into our first point. Ballet has been around for many centuries. It originated in the Italian Renaissance courts of the 15th century, as stated by pbt.org. Noble men and women were invited to lavish events where they danced the night away to create a wonderful display. Moving on to the 16th century, Catherine de Mincy, the wife of King Henry II of France, started to fund ballet in the French courts. She was heavily involved with the program and led to its popularization. A century later, King Louis himself decided to popularize and standardize the art form, even being involved in some ballets himself. Moving on to the 19th century, the Romantic movement was taking place. This included ballets such as Giselle and La Civilide that were created during this time. The themes of these usually showed the world of spirits and often showed women as passive and fragile. The romantic tutus were introduced during this time, which were calf-length full skirts made of tulle. And even dancing on the tip of toes, aka point work, became the norm for ballerinas. Later on in the 19th century, the popularity soon began to soar in Russia. Russian choreographers such as Marcus Pedipa led to the Nutcracker, Sleeping Beauty, and Swan Lake. And the main purposes of these ballet were to show classical technique and complicated sequences. There's Sleeping Beauty. And the Romantic Tutu was now changed to the Classical Tutu, which was much shorter and stiffer. And the main purpose of these tutus were to show off the complicated sequences and footwork that the dancers did. Finally, in modern day, we range from classical ballet to even contemporary choreographed routines, but nonetheless, it's still ballet. Moving on, we have some ballet terms and positions. Before you start any ballet class, you'll want to start in the preparatory position. According to master class, your feet should be turned out and your arms and low first. Your back and upper body should be straight and your head is slightly lifted and your shoulders relaxed. Now that we have the preparatory position, let's move on to the other five ballet arm and leg positions. To start off, we'll have first position. Your heels are together, and like I tell my little kid classes that I teach, heels together and your toes say no. Your arms want to be rounded out in front of you like you're holding a beach ball. Next for second position, your legs are slightly apart, parallel to each other, turned out, and your arms are to the side, making sure that your elbow and palm are facing the front. Next, we have third position. Your heel will want to be in the arch of your foot, one arm rounded in front of you and the other out to the side. For fourth position, you want to have some space in between your feet turned out, one arm rounded in front of you, the other rounded above your head. And lastly, we have fifth position. Your heel is touching your toe and your arms are rounded above your head like you have a big tall crown on. Lastly, we have the benefits of ballet. Like I said before, there are plenty of physical benefits of ballet can improve your flexibility, agility, key muscle strength, balance, realignment in your center of gravity, and even your coordination. But other than that, there's some more benefits. These include better posture and grace, you can build strong and lean muscles, understand traditional repertoire, learn a little bit of French, and better appreciate music and rhythm. But even if this is not enough for you, I can share my own personal experience. I started dancing when I was three years old, and that is 15 years of experience now. And when I was little, it was just a way for me to make friends but as I got older, I soon realized that there were more benefits. Not only am I a disciplined dancer, but a disciplined student because of ballet. And yes, there are times where it's hard and challenging, but I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't take that ballet class when I was three. To recap of our main points, we went over the history of ballet, the five ballet feet and arm positions along with the preparatory position, and why ballet is beneficial for society. Now, if you have any more questions, don't feel free to ask me or even stop by my local dance studio, which is located just up Highway 92 on Virginia Hills Road right next to the Casey's. And if you do take up all my offer, just say that Sydney sent you. Thank you.